Farm to Table, and on this week's episode, we are going to be filming a very special guest, my Uncle Chad, and he's going to be showing us how to make a delicious Toscano kale salad with the kale off of our tower gardens. So everyone, this is my Uncle Chad. Good afternoon, everybody. So today, we're going to be using some Toscano kale, um, lemons, toasted almonds, toasted potato crumbs, with some garlic, a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese, and some good olive oil, salt and pepper just to get this going. So first thing we do is we need to take the kale and cut the ribs out of the kale and get some nice long strips to cut right along the edge with a nice sharp knife. And we're gonna remove the ribs because we do not want to use them in our kale today. So this takes a bit of time, so you wanna plan ahead. You need about five cups of kale when it's all cut up like this. So. All right, once you've removed the ribs from all your pieces of kale, you have these nice long thin strips. And what you want to do now is you want to stack these strips on top of each other. And then you're going to roll them up nice and tightly. And then we're going to thinly slice them on an angle, and that's called chiffonade. So we get nice tender pieces of kale. And that is going to go into your salad. And then what you want to add is a couple tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And you want to massage that into your kale. Just nice and gently. And then once you're done this, you'll want to uh, toast, you need to toast some panko breadcrumbs um, with a little bit of garlic, which we did in advance. Uh, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, toast them over medium heat. Um, be careful because they burn very quickly, but till they're nice golden brown. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add them to the salad as well. Add a nice little crunch in there. And you want to add a little bit of olive oil to mix in there as well. A couple tablespoons usually do, good olive oil. And then I like to add some toasted uh, almonds as well to add a little more of a crunch. And you get a little bit of salt and pepper. And then some nicely freshly ground cheese. Some Parmesan cheese. And you can go with about a third cup, half a cup of freshly ground cheese in there. Or however much you plan. Yeah, okay. Then you're going to mix it all together. 